Welcome. I am working on a small wood burning piece. I thought doing a bee and a flower would look super cute with this wood shape. Um, this wood was cut from a tree in my yard. I then dried it in the oven and I sanded it down to, I believe, 120 grit. I now know for next time to go to 220 grit like I do when I prepare the wood for colored pencils. Um, there were a few areas that gave me problems with the tips st sticking and leaving a darker or larger mark that I had intended on. But I also don't do many wood burn pieces, uh, so it could just be user error as well. Um, I got this wood burner from Amazon about two years ago. Uh, it's not the greatest. When wood burning, it doesn't hold the temperature very well. So unless I'm going at a snail's pace, the line varies in color and size and the overburn can sometimes get harder to distinguish the lights from the darks. Um, I also only use one tip to do everything because I haven't ventured out from it. Um, I would like to experiment more with the other tips that came with the wood burner. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing as well. I thought the B would be the harder part of this piece so I started out with that and it was surprisingly the easier part. Um, the flower was harder to get the texture that I wanted but I feel once I added the color it really made the petals stand apart from one another and the darks really stood out more. I didn't realize when I was mapping this piece out that the knot in the wood would actually give me an issue so that's one of the last parts that I dealt with on the flower. Um, it did give me a different texture than what I liked, but in the end, it kind of evened itself out. Um, with the flower, I tried a couple different techniques to get a couple different line variations. Um, one of them was making short strokes and using the same tip, making longer strokes um, and I felt like it gave it the veining that flowers have a little bit more than if I would have just kept using the same, um, speed and strokes all the way around. Um, in the center, I tried leaving some of the areas really light, like natural wood color, and then, um, in the other darker areas burning as deeply as I could to try and pull out some kind of texture since it was such a small area. And in the end, after I colored, I just used um, a white and then a really light yellow over top of it to just bring out some more of the lighter tones. Here you can see me using smaller strokes going in one direction, trying to get some of the shading, and then I ended up switching to longer strokes but not really liking the look of that either. So then I went back to the smaller strokes and then decided that doing them both together would have given me a better result. Uh, so I ended up doing that after uh, the second petal. And here you can see me doing the long strokes from one end of the petal all the way to the other and then adding in some darker shaded areas to show the curvature of the petal itself. Once I got a couple petals done, I really went in and slowly burned around each petal, trying to make that as dark as I could so that way they stood out from one another. And I feel like that helped differentiate. But like I said, when I add the color, it is a lot better. Um, and I will see you guys at the end of this video. So enjoy watching the rest of the flower.
Okay, so for whatever reason, the file wouldn't upload when I had done the colored pencil on this piece. So I just wanted to give a final show through. Um, I added some light yellow and orange to the flower, and then some orange and a little bit of yellow to the bee, and then the white for the wings. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you would like to see another video like this, bye!